And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, happy Sunday to everybody out there. I'm Tanner Brammer with a look at your forecast. Hopefully you enjoyed that extra hour of sleep last night as daylight saving time officially ended, setting up for a pleasant day today, but a chilly night tonight. Lows down to maybe 37 in Amarillo. Not quite as chilly in Clarendon and Childress, maybe still staying in the 40s. But places like Dalhart and Clayton wouldn't be surprised if you hit that freezing mark tonight. So definitely a chilly night and morning commute for your Monday morning. Maybe as you're heading to work, wouldn't be a bad idea to break out that jacket. But tomorrow afternoon, more or less of what we saw this past weekend, highs in the upper 60s, just beautiful weather. Uh, rain chance is relatively low, uh, but that does change late Monday night into Tuesday. Might see some scattered showers and or thunderstorms roll into the area late Monday night into Tuesday. Nothing too widespread in the form of rain, just very scattered and really no severe threat at all with these storms, maybe just a couple rumbles of thunder and some flashes of lightning as well. So give you a more detailed look at what we're expecting early, early Tuesday. Notice on the map here, just kind of some splotches of green. Like I said, no, no soaking rain for really anybody, just some brief periods of some showers and a couple of storms, and that is just about it. But around the lunch hour, that does look to clear out, and after it does clear out, may turn a little bit on the windy side. Uh, for the second half of Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Winds anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour with some locally higher wind gusts definitely possible. But our main focus shifts to the late week where we'll see a cold front brush through the area and maybe for the first time this cool, this cool air may stick around. I uh, see multiple days where we may see highs in the 50s and looking at long range models maybe even the 40s about a week from now. Uh, definitely a long way out so definitely something to keep an eye on through the coming days. So I'll take you through the seven day supercast and beyond here. We see that storm chance late Monday night into Tuesday. You see 30% there. Like I said, it's mainly for Tuesday morning. I see us clearing up for the second half of Tuesday, turning breezy for Tuesday and also Wednesday. Like I said, winds anywhere from 20, 30, 20 to 30 miles per hour, highs in the low 70s. And then we do cool down. Look at those highs for Friday and the weekend. Highs only in the low 50s. So definitely a fall-like uh, pattern for our weekend coming up. 